Hey everyone, back with another video and before I start, I want to let you know I've decided to name my videos uh, The Metal Evangelist and the reason I'm doing that is because I'm a true believer in underground metal and I preach from the five gospels of heavy thrash, black, death, and doom. So let's begin. Um, this video is going to be about uh, some thrash bands I think you should check out, kind of a quick review. First one is called Shards of Humanity. They're from uh, Tennessee. It's actually just two guys. They've got a demo out called Shards of Humanity. There's the guys in the back. And it's a five song EP, you might say. And um, they kind of play a progressive thrash with some raw, gravelly vocals in there. Um, but they got some crazy ass riffs. I've got it playing in the background. I don't know if you can hear it on this, but if you can't, I'll put some links to uh, some of their YouTube videos and you can check them out there. But the, the reason I heard about this band is because I was reading about um, David DeSanto from Vector and how he got thrown in jail down in Tennessee for throwing a beer on somebody. And he mentioned on Facebook, after a really long post about getting out of jail and all that stuff, he said, P.S., thanks to uh, Ryan for driving me to the airport after I got out of jail so I could fly home. And I'm like, oh, Ryan from Shards of Humanity. And I was like, oh, I should check these guys out. And I did, and it's like, wow, they're kind of like Vector, kind of like Voivod, pretty awesome. Um, the demo is kind of raw but the intent is kind of there. Um, you can see a lot of potential. It's just two guys, but hopefully they'll catch on with some more musicians and put out some more material. So I highly recommend checking out Shards of Humanity. Um, let's see, next on my list is a band from Switzerland. They're called Algebra. And they have this self-released debut called Polymorph. Kind of some odd cover art there. You can see these three guys twirling around a vortex or making a poop vortex. Who knows what that is? But here's the guys in the back. You can see them. The lead guitars on here are just ridiculous. And this album's produced by Andy Klassen, who, you know, I've heard a lot about as a producer and didn't realize until I looked him up on Metal Archives just how many things he's produced and great records that I own that he's been the producer on. So. For an unsigned band like these guys to get Andy Klassen to do their, their record is pretty awesome. Um, these guys play a technical brand of thrash. Not every song is super technical. There's some just, you know, normal kind of thrashers and they actually have a song with where they do like one of those breakdown riffs that all the metalcore bands do, but don't worry, it's just in one song and they do it really well. It's, it's I don't know, you'll have to check it out. But don't let that um, sour you on them. Um, the one little drawback here is kind of the hardcore-ish yelling vocals. Um, might be a sticking point with some people, but the music more than makes up for it. Um, this one again was self-released and I've seen Stormspell Records say that they're gonna put it out, but it's taken them forever, so I just contacted the band and said, hey, I want to buy your album. And they're like, cool, I'll just send it to you. So, thanks guys from Algebra, it's an awesome record. Here's the, there's what the CD looks like. And there's the back, no big deal. Oh yeah, and inside, just your standard booklet with lyrics. You know, people like to see this kind of stuff. Myself included, oh there's your, your standard uh, thrash collage in the middle. All the guys doing wacky stuff. More lyrics, thanks list. So that's that's Algebra, pretty awesome band, I highly recommend them. Um, next on the list is a band that is signed to a new label called Unspeakable Axe Records, which is an imprint of Dark Descent, it puts out some awesome uh, doomy death and black metal, but uh, this is their second release by a band called Besieged, and you can see the logo there, kind of like a Death Thrash logo. And the artwork is by the famous Ed Repka, or Repka. It kind of reminds you of um, the Arise album cover from Sepultura. I don't, I know Ed didn't do that artwork, but it's reminiscent with the crazy, weird thing with all the tentacles and the eyeball. 
but this one's called um, Victims Beyond All Help, and this one just fucking rips. This is insanely fast, tight, and intricate riffs, and sometimes you just can't understand how they play so fast, but yet so tight. And um, these guys are from Winnipeg, Canada, and what else do I want to say about them? Oh yeah, they put out this album originally in 2010 by themselves, 300 digit packs they released, and you really couldn't get it anywhere. So the guy behind Unspeakable Axe found them and said, hey, I'm starting a label and I want to put out your record. So 2013, it's been re-released, and uh, it's pretty standard, you know, you got to picture here you can't really see it's too dark that's one of my complaints but again you've got lyrics all that good stuff here's the, the disc shows some of the album artwork pretty good there's the back you have a picture of the guys only three guys in this band and their sound is huge I don't know how they sound so awesome with just three guys but Seven tracks of raging, head-banging thrash, uncompromising. You won't be disappointed if you pick this one up. Uh, here they have a new album in the works. I'm guessing it'll be released in um, the first half of 2014, but we'll see. So, again, Besieged, this album fucking rules. And I wanted to tell you guys about one more band called Armor Column. And here's their CD. This one's a little older. It's released in 2011 on EMB Records out of Mexico. This band's from Albany, New York, and they play thrash metal with more of a power metal kind of styling to it. The vocalist uh, kind of sings really high-pitched with the wailing stuff going on. If you like Three Inches of Blood, it's sort of similar. And his, his voice kind of sounds sort of like a mix between Caton DePena from Hyrax and Bobby Blitz from Overkill. So just be forewarned, if you're not a fan of high-pitched vocals, this one has it, but it's really a good record. Um, it's got some of the more simpler riffs that are melodic that kind of make it power metal, but there's also some just frantic thrashers in there, uh, especially the, the track called Armor Column. So these guys are really good. Kind of kicks off the album with a movie quote from Rambo, so there's a lot of like war kind of themes going through it, but this one's really good too. I'd suggest picking this up. I'll put some links down in the description to all these bands and their Facebook pages and all that good stuff. So thanks for checking out uh, this thrash review video. And until next time, spread the word about metal.